Hello and welcome to a very short tutorial video on how to play the gunner in Mechhack. Now you see your power is charging up, charging up, that's great. Um, power is used for a lot for the gunner. Um, so all of your guns are listed here. There's a howitzer, there's a rotor cannon, and a lance, or a lance, at present. Um, so these are pretty basic archetypes of the different types of weapons. So the howitzer is just a big, like a cannon, like a one-shot, loaded up kaboom. Uh, the rotor cannon is more of a mini minigun sort of thing. You load it up a lot of rounds and fire a salvo. And a lance is an energy weapon. Um, so the commands you'll need are help, as always. Um, and then aim, charge, and fire. So aim is pretty self-explanatory. Um, just type it in and it'll tell you what you need to do. Um, so aim and then the weapon number. So let's aim our howitzer. This is weapon zero. Let's aim it ten degrees to the right. And um, at range 30 kilometers. So then our aim here, actually I'm going to change that for the second convenience, I'm going to aim weapon zero uh, three degrees to the right. And so you see the gauges, gauges here change, so the gimbal angle, um, so each weapon has a gimbal angle, so it can twist left, left and right independently of the body of the mech, or the torso of the mech. Um, this is just so you've got a little bit of leeway for lining up your shots. Um, so the, the howitzer, being quite a big beefy weapon, can only twist left and right 5 degrees, so it can aim from 5 degrees left to 5 degrees right of dead ahead. Um, the rotor cannon is a bit more of a versatile, it can go from 20 degrees left to 20 degrees right. So that's pretty handy. Um, error here shows how far off the um, aiming angle you are. So if, you're, if, if you need to aim at a given angle, um, and your torso is pointed the wrong way, your error will be huge, and you'll be saying to your uh, pilot, hey, pilot, turn left, we need to get this guy in range. Um, so range is the distance from the mech to the target, or yeah, to where you're going to shoot, and ammo is how much ammunition you have in, in reserve. Um, so that's aim. Um, the next command is charge, and I think that's just, um, yeah, so it's charge and then the weapon number zero and then whether you want to stop or start uh, start or stop charging the weapon so let's say we're going to charge the howitzer um, so it's a big heavy beefy thing and it takes a little while to, to charge it up and you can see its charge gauge goes from zero to one so it, when it's fully loaded it can hold one round and clunk there it goes so our reserve ammo has gone down by one and our charged ammo has gone up by one um, so that's uh, fire I'm pretty sure the fire command is just fire and then the number of the weapon so right now we're aiming at 3 degrees right, at 30 kilometers, with zero error, so if there's something there we should hit it. Fire zero. There's supposed to be an earth shattering boom. Doesn't look like that sound work. Um, but anyway, you can see that the charge has gone to zero, and we didn't use up any power, because it's a, um, like a projectile weapon that uses a powder charge to propel it round. So you don't use any power, so that's great. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the same thing for the rotor cannons. Let's um, aim one, um, and then the angle, let's say negative 20, um, and then the range, let's say 30 again. Let's aim it, so it can really twist a whole heap, so it's pointing off 20 degrees to the left of dead ahead. And then we'll charge, charge one, uh, charge one, one. Sorry, I'm going to cough again. <coughs> oh, god damn. Um, so, as you can see, um, the rotor cannon charges up um, more rapidly than the howitzer, but uh, and its magazine is much higher. So we'll let it charge fully. Um, so it's deducting from our total reserve rounds here and adding them to the, the magazine here. And once it charges fully, we'll fire it. Boom, it's full. Um, and let's say fire one. And... <coughs> Good lord, that sound works. Oof. Um, so we just fired off 50 rounds at that target, and obviously the, the damage done will be smaller, and the splash radius will be smaller, and whatever. Um, but that's a, it's a more versatile weapon for aiming at um, a broader range of targets. And you can see it didn't take as much power to fire that one. Um, so let's uh, go to the last one. Let's start charging up um, the lance. Um, let's just fire it dead ahead. Whatever, why not? Um, oops. <coughs> so you can see it uses an ass load of power to charge up the lance. So if you're firing the lance a lot, you might not ask your engineers to, hey, give me some more power, please. 
Um, so the, the lance is um, only negative 5 to 5, um, so it's about as restrictive as the howitzer. Um, so you need to have your pilot on the bowl lined up on the target. Um, so I'm going to stop that charging now. So you can go charge weapon number and then zero, and that will um, it'll hold its charge at that level to let your power reserves refill. And then I'm going to go fire two. So then it fires off and dumps all the power out, and obviously the more power you spend on a shot, the more damage it'll do. Um, have I covered all the commands? Let me just run help. Yep, that's everything. Okay, so you know how to play the gunner now. So it's a really, very, very, very dependent on the recon guy to tell you, guy or gal, to tell you where you need to aim, and it's very dependent on the pilot um, to get the mech more or less lined up on the target so everything's within your, your the gimbal range of the weapon you want to use. Okay, that's all. Bye.